Hey guys, so we're going to talk about the book The One Thing by Gary Keller. In the beginning of the book, he points out that multitasking is a lie. You cannot multitask. A human cannot multitask. He says that the word multitask actually comes from computers. They're switching between tasks so quickly that it looks like they're doing multiple tasks at the same time, when in fact they're actually not multitasking. Computers can't do it, and neither can humans. He says to use this effectively, we have to focus on one thing, one specific thing that we want to do that fulfills our purpose. He says you should try to limit a minimum of four hours per day doing this thing. Whether that be skiing, playing chess, making YouTube videos, working out, your academic life, focus on this thing for four hours. And he also says that you should focus on the process. You should focus on the training instead of the result, instead of the reward or prize. Because when you focus on the process instead of the result, the result in the end will be more satisfying. So to focus on something for four hours a day, you should try to get in a focused environment, something that keeps you away from distractions and keep your mind from wandering. And this is also key to finding something that is your one thing. Are you going to get distracted easily when you focus on this? And it's probably not your one thing. He says that distractions are way worse than they seem. A 15 minute distraction might take you an extra 15 minutes to get back focused. He also says that big goals can be bad. He doesn't say that you should get rid of your big goals, but he says that they're bad. He says a lot of people focus on the year goal, their month goal, their day goal, but you need to focus on your now goal. What can you do right now that will push you further in the end? What can you do right now that will help fulfill your day goal, that will help fulfill your month goal, that will help fulfill your year goal? He says at the end of the week, usually on Sundays, you can set and measure your goals. However, the rest of the week only focus on the goals that you can do right now, the things that are attainable and actions that you can execute on that will help you right now. Because if you focus too big on the big picture, it starts to get difficult and you start to get distracted. He said our goals are just like dominoes. If we take a tiny domino and line it up in front of a larger domino and then put it on an even bigger domino, and then the fourth domino is huge. He says this is just like our now goals. If we tried to, we might not be able to knock over the largest domino on itself. But what we can do is set up these dominoes, the day, month, and year goals, so that we can knock down the largest domino with ease by practicing and working only on the now goal. And when you are focusing on your one thing, it doesn't have to specifically be in the area that you are working on. If you are practicing on playing chess, it doesn't have to be just practicing chess. You can also focus on your one thing by reading or learning about chess or talking to other people who know more about chess than you do. This will also help you focus on your one thing. Just like my goals include making and uploading videos from books that I read. Not only do I make and upload the videos, but I'm also learning a lot and I'm studying my competition. And I use that word lightly because they're not necessarily my competition because I can learn a lot from them and they can learn a lot from me and we can help each other out and produce win-win situations. However, I am learning about them and I am keeping up to date with them. For example, I know that most of them do not have book giveaways and they also don't have social media accounts or at least ones that are active. And I'm going to learn from that. I'm going to experiment with my own giveaways and social media accounts to try to make my channel even bigger so that I can achieve my daily, monthly, and yearly goals. I know it may sound selfish, but it's a perfect example of how you can still focus on your one thing, but not do a monotonous task over and over and over again. I tried to pull the best tips I could out of this book, and this book is an amazing read. I loved, I absolutely loved reading this book. There were tons of pictures that explained concepts really well, but I hope I gave you as much value as I could. Leave a comment below of the next book that you would like to see an animated review of, and if I pick you, you will win that book. I will ship it to your house, and then I will upload an animated book review. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching this. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Subscribe for more videos like this.